I'm constantly surprised by how much uh, uh, the students have have their own experiences, their own knowledge uh, that that you get that of, of stuff that I didn't know that that just sort of deepens my own stuff. So actually, just the day before this interview, I'm teaching a course. I was talking about various U.S. social programs, and it turned out that some of the students had actually done work with. Um, with mothers who were on TANF, the, the welfare program, uh, temporary assistance needy families, and they knew a lot more about what the reality of that program is than I did. I only knew it from academic papers. You know, it's, it's uh, students are, are real people. They have real connections. I think that's the, the I, I find that the older I get, the more I actually enjoy teaching undergrads. When I, when I was fresh out of grad school, I wanted to do was teach grad students about the latest wrinkle in theory. Uh, these days, I get the most satisfaction out of talking to uh, freshmen, sophomores, juniors who are bringing a fresh perspective to the stuff. I'll tell you, when I started economics, uh, when I went to grad school, what I thought was that the most important thing in the world was economic development. Uh, what it takes to make a poor country uh, reasonably affluent. And I did not do it. I did not go into development economics. And the reason I didn't do it was that right then, this is mid-1970s, development economics was a very depressing field because there were no success stories. Basically, in the mid-70s, the, 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 the rich countries had been rich for generations, the poor countries had been poor for generations, and nobody actually crossed the line. And if I were going back to it now, I think I really would say, let's... You know, development economics is, is really exciting because now we do have success stories. Some countries, South Korea has gone from edge of subsistence to being a, basically a Western standard of living. Uh, China has moved from desperate poverty to what's still a quite poor country, but obviously enormous progress. And so trying to figure out why th those countries have done it but others have not, I think is really exciting. And the world is changing. Um, obviously also, of course, the... Uh, uh, the business cycle, recessions and recoveries. There was a, a long period when that was unfashionable because, hey, you know, we, we don't have big problems along those lines, and, well, that's back. Well, mostly, I think the main thing about studying economics is figure out what you're interested in. It's, there, there, are, there are lots of ways to be good in economics, different ways. I, among the great economists I know, uh, there are probably a dozen or more different, com completely different intellectual styles. There are people who are totally diligent, uh, looking at the nitty gritty of the data, and wonderful insights come out of that. There are vast, sweeping thinkers. There are people who use very high-level math in ways that turn out to be extremely productive. So there's no there's no formula. There there are many different ways of doing it. I would say, when you, if you're an undergrad economic major, you want to find the courses that are about things that you're interested in, and maybe also mix it with courses that are not about economics, but that expand your knowledge of the world. Um, when I was an undergrad, I took, I actually counted it, I took equal numbers of economics and history courses. No, no more economics than history, actually. So I, I, I loved history, and I actually find now, more than ever, that history is where you reach back to. You say, my God, what's happening in the world? I don't remember anything like this. But in fact, there were things like this before. You say, uh, you try to understand. You want to know about Credit Anstalt in Austria in 1931. You want to know about the Bank of the United States, uh, also in 1931, actually. So you, you want to, or, or you want to talk about the, um, the Swedish bank rescue of 1993. All of these things you want to get. Uh, so, but th that's my that's my style, right? I, I'm, a, I'm a historical parallels guy. But if it's something else, if you find that science, if you find that, that uh, uh, studying, taking courses in science along with economics is what fits your mix, I think there's a certain thing of do the economics but also do other things because the cross-pollination among fields is a really big thing in, in making you an interesting economist. I'd say... Um, bear with it. It's not all going to be fun. You are going to have to learn about curves crossing and, uh, and curves shifting, and you're going to have to, some of it's going to be tough and a little unnatural, but 
stay with it. I mean, it, this is, there is profound insights into the world you live in. And getting there requires some homework. So the getting there requires a little bit of suffering. Uh, it's, uh, if it was totally e easy, uh, we wouldn't need a course in it. The biggest misconception, I think, is that students think it's going to be about business. Um, which it is so, to some extent, right? I mean, obviously, we're talking about what businesses do, and there's a little bit, but they think it, uh, I guess, uh, you know, students think that they're going to, some of them think that they're going to be hearing stuff like what they hear on CNBC. Uh, they think they're going to be getting uh, stuff about the stock market and business, and, and, uh, and also they're going to be getting a lot of sort of canned stuff, you know, free market's good, uh, government bad, or vice versa. And what they're actually getting, of course, is a, is a framework. We're getting a, a whole uh, discipline rather than that. And it's, it's mostly, you know, economists are not business people. Economists are people who try to understand how businesses and consumers and government interact to produce this world of work that we see around us. So the people who come in thinking they're going to get a course that is uh, how, to, how to be the next Jack Welch or something like that are a little taken aback when the course actually unfolds.